Hi guys, Mike Crossword here, hitting today Ping iBlade against Mizuno JPX 900 Tor. Two better player irons, very similar in their finishes actually. Let's compare these two irons and show you what they could offer your golf game. Let's get stuck in. So we've got two better player clubs here, Ping Eye Blade against Mizuno JPX 900 Tor. Now both of these clubs come in this kind of whitish satin finish, very similar on the offset. If anything, the Mizuno Tor has a fraction less. Top lines on both, very, very similar. Uh, slightly more rounded toe on JPX Tor to the Ping, which is a little bit more sticky outy. To be honest with you, out of the two, I like the look of the eye blade better. It's, I just like, I don't like the rounded toe so much on the JPX Tor. Finish on both of them very similar. You've got boron running through. Um, so you haven't got boron in this one. This is forged uh, 1025E steel in the Mizuno Tor. Um, again, none of these, uh, the ping one, sorry, isn't forged. It's a cast iron. Um, let's give them a hit, see what they feel like. Definitely how it looks, the two eye blade for me is just pipping it on the looks. We have got the real ball data as always as well um, to show you if there's any performance differences. I love the look of eye blade, absolutely love it. Feel too. It feels nice, sounds good. Very, very gameable iron. Out of all the better player irons that ping have made, in the years of testing clubs for me, I think this is my favorite one they've absolutely made. Um, I've always liked their more chunkier clubs. Uh, they're kind of lower player, better player clubs. I've liked, but not a massive, massive fan of. This one could game it all day long. Feels good. Flight's exactly where I'd want it to be with this kind of iron. It suits my eye of what I'm looking for, what I'm trying to game, which then gives me better chances of visualizing shots, seeing, uh, shots hitting greens those kind of things if what comes out is one kind of what I'm expecting I think it's quite an important part when it comes to visualizing your shots with golf clubs Let's give it one more hit it's just a lovely sound I mean it's not forged but I don't think you would know if you didn't know it was ping written on it so if we compare that to the tour in the Mizuno like I said it's a slightly different shape more rounded toe uh, if anything, it feels a fraction thinner because of that as well a little bit. Slightly longer blade length than I'm used to, but I do like the satiny finish. But when you put it up against the chrome club, which I'm used to, I think I prefer the chrome. Let's give it a hit. Again, with Mizuno, that's a better sound and it's a better feel. It is a better feeling club for me. Obviously, you need to hit them and see which one you like the feel of, but it's a very different sound. It's slightly duller, it's more true, it feels softer because it's that duller sound. Hit that really nice. Again, it's the same flight I would expect to see out of this iron. I mean, I prefer the MP, but I could game this if pushed. I think I prefer the look again on this one. Similar, I did a comparison with the AP. Uh, two, I prefer the look of iBlade but I prefer the feel of the 900 Tor. It is, it's a buttery smooth sound, it's quite amazing. Their acoustics department must just be uh, on the money. Let's look at the numbers, hard to choose between those two because I do like them both, definitely like the looks of iBlade, but the uh, sound and feel of that is amazing. So numbers time, 163 with the JPX Tor to 162 with the eye blade. 31 peak height to 32 with the eye blade, again very similar. 5.8 spin to 6.2 spin with the eye blade. 300 revs just under. Uh, 18 knots, 18 knots. You can see the numbers on those two clubs are near on identical, both trying to fulfill a very similar brief, those two clubs. Um, yeah, absolutely not much in that at all. I think I would go on the feel of the Mizuno, and again, I'm used to that feel. This is why it's so important. You go and get tested. You go and hit the clubs and get your own opinions on feel, sound, looks, those kind of things. Prefer the look of the eye blade. Absolutely prefer the feel of the Mizuno. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know which one I would choose out of those two. I really don't. It would be hard, and the data kind of backs that up as well. Post comments down below. As always, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the videos. What one would you go for and why? Let me know. Love to hear.
Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.